Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, a cross watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement, please only claim this from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. Whoever you are, wherever you are on this planet, shout out to you. We see you and acknowledge the fact that you've taken time out of your day to join us. So thank you so much for that. And whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. And it's solid, it's unconditional, and it is a fact. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, it's on you to reach out. My information is in the box below on how to do that. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun, it's entertainment purposes only, and it doesn't cost you anything. And it will make you feel good. Because it's positive energy you are expending out into the universe that will reverberate back to you. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Pisces. Pisces, we are working with energy. Energy is fluid. And anybody could be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. Show me Pisces. Pisces. All right. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we can help somebody here today. Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Show me Pisces. 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 Please and thank you. Pisces. Pisces. All right. Pisces. King of Wands. Leo energy for somebody that's large and in charge, a leader, a visionary, somebody who's bold, confident, charismatic, okay? So you could be a female in your masculine energy, or you could be a masculine. Perhaps you have Leo in your chart, or you're dealing with somebody that does, okay? Show me. That's up, all up in your energy. Here, you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is unreliable and lazy and does not want to put the work into something, okay? Now, this could be, you know, your career or it could be a relationship. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is a risky investment at best, okay? Yeah. This is somebody who's irresponsible. Maybe their money's all messed up. It's a lazy energy. Somebody who doesn't want to put any work or effort into anything. Show me. Yeah. Somebody was resilient, persistent. Somebody didn't want to give up. For, for nothing. Somebody was not taking no for an answer at the foundation of a situation here. Now, show me what's crowning. Somebody did not want to take no for an answer. Whatever it was, okay? But it had something to do with a Leo. Now, here you go. You have the tower in reverse. Scorpio energy for resisting change, avoiding some kind of tragedy, delaying the inevitable. The tower is going to hit. Somebody's trying to postpone it. Somebody's being, look how persistent this person is trying to hold back this tower. Okay. Something that's inevitable. Whatever that inevitable thing is, is going to be different for everybody. But either you or somebody else is being really persistent about not letting the inevitable happen. You might as well just let it happen. Let it go. Yeah. Show me what's coming in. The Pisces. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. There is going to be some kind of new beginning. Now, this could very well be in your finances with the Page of Pentacles, you know, but it's about a new beginning. Page of Pentacles talks about, you know, being very diligent, goal-oriented, and dependable. So it's going to be a solid, you know, beginning of something. Whether it's a new job, new relationship, because, you know, Pentacles does denote money and finances and material stability. So here you go. Well, well, it looks like it's, whatever it is, it's going to be very passionate. It's going to give you a creative spark of enthusiasm and a match lit under your ass. All right, Pisces? You're looking at it like that. Like passion, energy, confidence, creativity, sex. Show me what's in the environment. What's in the actual environment? What's actually in the environment? Show me. Okay, Pisces, you know we're not taking all those. I love you, but that's just absurd. Here we go. Show me. Show me the actual environment. Stop screwing around. Show me. Come on. Give it to me. Thank you. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. All right. Somebody's trying to be emotionally manipulative. This person might have water in their chart as well. Knight of Cups in reverse is somebody that's not very sensitive to your needs, but overly sensitive for themselves. Somebody who's overly dependent, insecure, emotionally manipulative, immature. We don't need this. <clears throat> Show me what the advice is. 
could be somebody that's really emotionally matured that doesn't want to put the work in. If you notice, both nights are in reverse. This person can have water and air, in, I mean, earth in their chart. They don't want to put the work in and they want to manipulate you emotionally on top of it. Stand your ground. Show me the advice and spirit. Thank you. Don't be in denial. Maybe there's something you don't want to see here. Maybe you feel like your back is up against the wall. Maybe there's a choice you have to make that you're trying not to make. You're delaying or you or somebody that because they don't want to see this tower hit. Whatever this is for you. It's going to be different for everybody. Show me what the outcome is to this. So denial. Don't be in denial, the hermit. Maybe do some soul searching and some self-evaluation. Maybe spend some time in solitude and reflect on things. Everything. Everything that have happened in your life. Just everything. Get closer to the source. Enlighten spiritually. Okay? That's what, you know, it's about your inner guidance, the hermit. Something will be enlightened to you. I mean, yeah. Look at this. Some fairness and balance. Are you, you got heavy Leo energy here. You got Leo, Leo, Leo. You know, Queen of Swords. Somebody using their head over their heart here. About some kind of emotional... Uh, Ace of Cups, some kind of new emotional intimacy or spirituality or love. Be strong and resilient. Don't have, don't lose any self confidence. There is fairness and balance coming in a situation. Something's going to be illuminated to you or make you very happy. It's positivity, joy, freedom, happiness. Okay, Leo energy again. You got Leo, Virgo, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Clarify, clarify for Pisces. All right, Pisces, to clarify for you. Tell you one thing, somebody wants to come out, somebody wants to reconcile and have some kind of new beginning here, okay? And um, I'm going to tell you, you got the page of swords in reverse. Somebody's watching somebody here, okay? Maybe they're looking to see if, you know, whatever they're looking to see, they're, they're not watching with a kind eye, okay? They are watching in some kind of, I don't know, self-absorbed, cold, impulsive, arrogant way, okay? There's six of swords in reverse. This person could be running away from their past. Maybe they have troubles. Maybe they're stuck in the past. They do want some kind of new beginning. They want to reconcile and have some kind of new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. All right. Now, it could be financially, but the Ace of Pentacles is about a new beginning. Maybe they're bitter because they're not getting this new beginning. Maybe they're bitter because you don't want to reconcile with this person. Or, they, you know, vice versa. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma. Decisions that are going to change. The fate of your destiny. It's Sagittarian energy. Show me. Somebody wants a new beginning here. And you know what? I, I just don't feel like you're up with the Page of Cups in reverse. See, so this is like somebody really immature. I mean, come on now. The Knights are all in reverse. All the pages are in reverse. So this is somebody who's just, you know what? You don't need to deal with this energy. This energy is immature, irresponsible, irrational, selfish, emotionally manipulative, Praying on your downfall here for some reason. Somebody needs to do some work here. Yeah, you got the emperor. Aries energy. Take control of the situation here. Maybe you have Aries in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of boss or something like this. But the emperor is somebody who's in charge. They don't miss a trick. They don't let anybody get away with any shit, okay? And, and they're very protective. They're very logical. They're very practical. We take a practical point of view over this and uh, take control of this. Whatever, or whoever this is. Here you got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Now you got Aries energy again. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is somebody else. This is somebody who's a jealous, deceitful, backstabbing bitch. That's what the Queen of Wands in reverse is, okay? Somebody who has very um, narcissistic tendencies. Somebody who's very demanding and temperamental. Somebody who needs to reestablish some kind of sense of themselves or some kind of sense of authority. Somebody smokes a pipe here. All right. Eight of Cups. Somebody's been walking away from this. Good. Thank God. All right. I hope this is you walking away from this. I don't feel like this is... I don't feel like you're the twisted person. I feel like this is you dealing with them and having to walk away. Take control of the situation. You might both have Aries in your chart, obviously, but one of you is just, you know... So this is about not being satisfied emotionally and walking away to find your emotional fulfillment. Yeah. Because you completed this cycle. Look at this. You completed the cycle. Achievement, success. You learned everything you need to learn. Okay? You're probably doing the inner work or you're going to do the inner work. So, you know, you're done with this. It's an achievement. Taurus energy. So we're walking away. People, places, and things that we don't need. Okay? In our life. That are not going to help us ascend. Okay. Here. Yeah, now let's see what's coming in. Now you're going to get some kind of new beginning. Okay? Because you completed that cycle. Gemini energy. 
the magician. This could be something you manifested. You could be dealing with somebody that's Gemini in the chart. This could be you. But this is about being resourceful. This is about being um, very smart and creative. It's inspired action. It's power. It's intellect. It's it's being, yeah, very flexible with your resources, mixing them up, the magi, the alchemists, doing the work to make them work for your higher good, right? Okay, let's see what we have. Oop, right on my lap. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Look at this. Manifesting success, money, material, and financial stability being rewarded for your efforts. Virgo energy. Death. Something's coming to an end, so something new can begin. Scorpio. Death and rebirth. Transformation. I'm seeing... I'm seeing... Apartment building. I'm seeing buildings in the city, maybe work buildings, like with a lot of um, ornaments on the top, like maybe gargoyles or, again, this death card looks like the um, Chrysler building in New York, like the way it is. Somebody could live up there, perhaps, live on the top of a tall building in the city somewhere. The beautiful view. There's a Queen of Cups. All right, so this is obviously you, Pisces. Full of love, caring, kind, very sentient. Very warm, very, you know, probably quiet. A healer of some sort. You have. You're going to get some kind of truth. Some kind of clarity. Some kind of victory. Some kind of breakthrough in a situation. Something's going to be made clear to you here with the Ace of Swords. Okay, it's going to be some kind of victory. And also, it's the facts. Be strong. Could be coming from a Leo. Leo energy again, okay? Maybe you have Leo and you tried to stop being resilient. Having a lot of self-confidence and no self-doubt. It's bravery. One of my cards is self-control as well. Somebody likes to eat pomegranates here. Somebody could be eating pomegranates. Here, you got the chariot. Somebody could be, okay. Somebody's got to go and focus. They're going to overcome any obstacle to get to it. They have control over a situation. They want a victory. Cancer energy. Then you got a four of swords. Somebody's coming out of a time of rest and recuperation here. Somebody, you know, might have been ill. Or maybe they recuperated. And they're just, they're starting to come around now. So it's starting to heal. Whether this is you or somebody else. One more. Four of swords on its side. I'm seeing pink roses here. Yeah. Now, you got the love is Gemini energy again. A decision that's going to have to be made about some... You're ending and beginning here with Gemini. Maybe you both have it in your chart. But um, you have here a decision that has to be made about a soulmate union. Okay. There may have been some obstacles. that may have taken a minute. Maybe somebody was ill and they had to recuperate from something. The hermit. Soul searching. Self-evaluation. Learning from your lessons. Ascending from your... Experiences in life, helping other people with your light, right? Your knowledge. Give me, what's the end? Show me. Okay, great. So, oh, nice. So you have some kind of wish coming true, some kind of hope for your future, a gift from the divine, beauty and inspiration. I'm seeing the star of David. I'm hearing David. Somebody could be named that. I'm hearing hexagram. Hexagram? What the hell? Okay, anyway, you got a Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in, okay? Maybe they didn't have water in their chart, but this person's now with the Knight of Cups upright. They are not emotionally manipulative. Maybe they had some kind of, you know, health issue or mental issue that they had to heal. Now they're better. With the Knight of Cups upright, this is good. This is somebody who's very charming. This is somebody who's going to wear their heart on their sleeve. They have interests that they want to explore with you. It's genuine. It's real. It's honest. Nothing freaking nefarious about that. Okay. Let's see. Give me. Okay. And you got the hermit again. So again, look, it's ending with the hermit twice. Virgo energy. Somebody's done some soul searching, some self-evaluation. Somebody ascended spiritually. I mean, I just went through the whole thing here. Somebody's got some kind of inner knowledge now. You got a seven of wands. Seven of wands talks about maybe some kind of competition. Somebody persevering. Somebody may be defending themselves, standing their ground. King of Cups. Somebody who's going to be loving, caring, kind. You got the King to the Queen of Cups here. It's a soulmate union. Somebody could have been left out in the cold. Five of Cups or some have regret or some kind of sadness or disappointment. Maybe they were stuck up in their head. But the King of Swords, okay. They could have been stuck up in their head thinking there was a third party situation going on. Or maybe there was a third party situation going on. They got the King of Cups, the, yeah, the King of Swords and the King of Wands. I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of people right there. I just want to say, there could have been a whole situation, a lot of uh, people involved in this. So maybe that could have been the confusion. All right, Kipper, give me a binaural beat for Pisces. Pisces. 
Pisces, you're going to get some kind of wish come true. Somebody's coming in. If you want love, here it is. Show me. Keep it show me. Come on. Some courthouse issue. Maybe somebody's got to go to court. Could be anything. Nothing serious. Maybe got to file some papers or something like this. 23 or 5. There's a main female, number two, 222 two, two mega hearts, 222 two, two hearts. This is your healing sound bath. Somebody could be getting like a single rose. Somebody could be bringing somebody a single rose. Show me. I'm seeing a fire hydrant. I'm seeing the Statue of Liberty. Somebody could be living at this. Somebody could be traveling. Somebody could be living at distant horizons. Maybe they have to travel. Maybe going on a vacation. Something about an anchor. Somebody could be picking up anchor and dropping it somewhere else. Maybe moving. What else? 36 is nine. Somebody could be 63. Is that it? All right, Pisces. Oh, God. Somebody could be passing away. We hope not. 19 or 10. Maybe that's why somebody has to travel. What else? Our condolences for anybody that's losing anybody or has lost somebody, wherever you are on this timeline. Show me. All right. Here we go. The bottom of the deck. Occupation. Somebody's working really hard, minding their own business, trying to make ends meet. Something they're doing with their hands that, you know, it requires some kind of skill. Not everybody can do that. Somebody could be 43 here, uh, 34 or 7. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.